Hey, what's up? My name is Tacklis, and today we're going to be looking at a Project Spark tutorial on how to play soccer, or as I like to call it, punch ball. As you can see, it's not super complex. You get the ball into the goal, there's fireworks, you hear a little poof as that ball disappears, and a fresh one emerges. Now, I do have a boundary right here. But I'm not actually going to be going into how I built the arena. Ooh, am I going to make it? Am I going to make? Nope, not going to make it. I'm not. I'm not going to go into how I built the arena, but I am going to go into how to play. Now I also have the ability to pick up the ball and run around with it this way, which is a little bit cheap, but you know, still functions. And if you want to play football or something like that, this is how you can do it. don't have the ability to throw it, but come to think of it, it wouldn't be all that hard. So. Oh, look at that. Apparently I set off five scores and it set off the big fireworks. I'm not going to go into that either, but just a personal flair. Alright. First, I'm going to delete all my assets. I'll delete that. Going to delete... That, gotta be careful not to delete my goals. And delete that. And I'm not gonna delete my ball because it's pretty, but I'm gonna delete all the code inside of it. So, first things first, let's look at the ball. We need to assign the ball a variable so that it can be recognized no matter how many times it's created. So, every time it's created, the global object variable of active ball equals me right here so we're going to be doing a lot more here but we got to get back to that later next i'm going to grab a logic cube place it directly above the opening of this goal all right there yeah looks good can go into this logic cube's brain Sensor trigger zone true. Then I'm going to grab this trigger zone handle. Not one of my backdrops. Come on. Going to lower it down and position it just right. Now it's better to be a little bit too small than a little bit too big. Just for the sake of um, that the gap that you I don't know if you can see it there. But there's a gap between the trigger zone and the uh, goal. That gap is far too small for the ball to get in and not touch my trigger zone. So I'm going to shrink the trigger zone so it fits in my goal. And then I'm going to shorten it up so it really only affects the opening. There we go. There, looks good. Now we're going to go into the brain of this thing. When in trigger zone, oh, no, I used to try it that way. It didn't work out. Global active ball. We're going to do global score, which is a Boolean variable I created equals, come on, true. Now, bear with me, this will make sense in a bit, but when cooldown equals false, I'm going to do started to global, I do like global variables, team one, increment up by one. Then when started to, we're going to play a sound. We're just going to play the alarm. Everywhere. Overlapping. And finally, this is only if you've bought the uh, fireworks pack or whatever it's called. Don't not create play effects. 
gonna bump over here to fireworks and let's try C I don't know if I've tried C there we go and let's see when cooldown equals true we're gonna do a countdown for let's do three seconds three and then we're gonna make cooldown equals false there we go that way you can only score and then score again every three seconds which makes a lot of your problems a lot of simpler so looks like this will work let's grab this brain or logic cube I mean flip it 180 degrees so it's facing 180 and place it in exactly the same location so right there now I'm still gonna modify not physics brain modify his trigger zone but it should be very close fun part is selecting the handle rather than the goal looks like I got the goal it's tough because I need the handle kind of inside the goal but you don't want it uh, I'm gonna see if I can get inside the goal and aim out see will it give it to me right no uh, it's not wanting to give it to me so what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to move the logic cube until the trigger zone fits. You can try, but, you know, there's always compromises. So move it back just to fuzz. And it looks like if someone was crafty enough to get the ball onto the top of the... On top of it, they might get lucky. But I've never really been able to get the ball airborne. That's why I didn't put a ceiling on this. So I think that'll be okay. So we're going to go into the brain of this one, and we're going to go to Team 2 instead of Team 1. There we go. So now we're going to go back to the ball. When global score equals true, what we're going to do is we're going to do a countdown timer for two seconds and we're going to destroy this thing destroy with effect and one of my favorite effects is the good old poof so come on I'm currently installing sniper elite 3 right now so I think my Xbox is being strained Let's see poof there we go. Um, also for good measure, let's make an effect when it's first created. So play effect, and I want this to be a silent effect because we have a poof when it's destroyed and one's going to be created at that same moment that it's destroyed. So I'm gonna choose sparkle because it makes a little glowing effect which looks nice but doesn't make a sound. I think that's all the code I have to do for the ball. You also need to go into the properties under brain and make sure it's a template. Next, I'm gonna grab another logic cube, place it in the direct center of your arena. Let's see, that looks good. This is gonna be like the central brain to this entire operation. So first, we're gonna make sure it spawns in the ball at least once to uh, <laughs> get the ball rolling. Uh, I know, bad puns. Oh, you don't want to cool down, you want it? Hang on, that pun made me lose, totally lose my train of thought. We need to create this ball. So once, create that ball, then, when 
global score equals true. I'm going to do a countdown timer of two, then started to can do the same thing. Create leather ball. You know what? For good measure, let's do at position position center. Just to make sure that it spawns in the exact center of the arena and not to any sides. There we go. Then when global score is equal to true, we need to do a countdown timer for 2.1 global score equals false. There we go. I believe this is the fundamental code to make this whole thing operational. Now lastly, to make sure everything works right, we're going to display global Team one plus I'm going to do the text. I'm going to do space, 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 and then we're just going to do a center line, space, 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 plus global team two. And then we're going to put this bottom center. And we're going to make the font extra large because this is a big deal. So, this should all work right. Now, this is just convoluted enough, and I only just made the tutorial in the like last hour. And who knows? I could have totally overlooked something. So, there's our ball, starting ball. Let's roll this bad boy into position. Come on, go in. It disappears and a new one appears over here. So we got a score on that goal. Let's try to push this one in now. Come on. Awesome. So it looks like it's working. Now I already have the picking up built in. I didn't delete that. So really quickly now, I'm gonna pick this up because I have something I wanna show you guys. Don't worry, I'll go over how to pick it up. So you can see it's working great. <clears throat> And then the last time, drop it and push it in. Fireworks! Pretty much just if you've bought the fireworks, you just take the fireworks assembly and instead of interacted, you put uh, the team score equals five or whatever you want. So to make the player be able to pick up the ball, first you need to adjust their... Uh, vision detection so it looks like this it's as short as you can possibly get it and it's fairly darn wide next you need to go into your character's brain and when they see the global active ball and they press y <clears throat> it equips it which equips it onto their right hand then when global active ball is equipped countdown timer five seconds this is important you don't put the count down then it will unequip the same instant you equip it and that kind of you know ruins the idea then when y pressed unequip active ball that's as simple as it gets this does not go over how to throw it though i bet if i took a wing at it when global active ball equipped I'm going to do, let's see, left trigger, when left trigger, no, let's do right trigger. Right trigger is usually the firing trigger, right? Right. When right trigger, we're going to do combat, oh, not damage, we're going to do throw, global, active ball, and I'm not sure what that's going to do to your inventory, but I'd like to think that he unequips it. I really don't play with the throw that much. So if this works, if this goes horribly, 
you can blame me right away for it. So I'm going to pick it up and chuck it. Hey, that works perfect. Look at that. <laughs> I surprise myself sometimes. Now that just makes the game too easy. If you made if you made it throwing, I mean, yeah, it adds, you know, realism, but kind of makes the game too easy. You may need a much larger arena. So, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Oh, look at that. I got disconnected. Hey, remember what I said about throwing it on top and you get lucky? Looks like I was right. So, uh, you might want to play with the trigger field some more there. So, this was per request. Um, I hope this was very helpful. I hope this went over what you wanted in your, uh, the person who requested. I hope this is what they wanted. So, if you have any requests, I'd love to make it for you. Woo, pretty fireworks. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.